Welcome back to Crypto Future, guys. Good evening. Hope you guys had a good day today. Hopefully, I can make it a little bit better with some news. We got all kinds of news to get into here. Uh, okay, so let's start with uh, it's a red evening, eh? Very red in the market today. Jasmine down. Jasmine's down 7.3%. Uh, what else do we got? AGIX is down 6.8%. Cardano is down 5.8%. Casp um, is down 7.1%. Uh, Bencoin's down 9.8%. Uh, oh, sorry, it gets hot in here. I turn off my AC so it doesn't mess with the sound and stuff. Uh, and it gets hot in here fast. Um, Casper's down, or Casper's down, uh, 4.9%. Uh, Cadena's down 8.2. Gal is down 7.6. XRP is down 3.7. Algo's down 6.2. Bitcoin is still holding above, uh, 30,000, though. Still holding 30,123. Uh, HBAR's down 5%. So it's kind of an overview of the market. Let's get into the news here. We're going to start with some Caspa news. Uh, more amazing tools coming for Caspa users and Caspa accepting merchants. Thanks to Now Payments. Uh, thrilled, to, thrilled to announce the upcoming integration of Caspa currency. Get ready to be able to receive payments with Caspa with Now Payments. Super bullish, guys. Love Caspa. Uh, it's down. I'm hoping it stay down, stays down until I get paid at the end of the month so I can buy some more. Uh, we got some Coinbase news, uh, big news from Canada. Canadian lawmakers have published a comprehensive report supporting blockchain technology. So, uh, finally, I'm in Canada, so this affects me. Um, the Canadian House of Commerce uh, Par Parliamentary Standing Committee on, on Industry and Technology has published a comprehensive report recognizing blockchain as an emergency, emerging industry with significant economic opportunities emphasizing uh, consumer protection and regulatory clarity advocating for the national blockchain strategy the proposing or, and proposing an innovative regulatory approach to stable coins highlighting canada's potential to become a leader in the uh, crypto economy so canada is looking to step up and be a leader uh, hopefully they stop attacking uh, exchanges uh, but I, I shouldn't say that they've given they've given some uh, regulatory compliance to uh, like Kraken. Um, I think who else? There's a couple other ones that are that are now uh, uh, ShakePay. I don't know if you guys use ShakePay. ShakePay is compliant in Canada. Uh, I think Coinbase is, but I'm not sure. Um, what else do we have here? So it's bullish news for uh, for Canada, which is where I am for now. I see you, Switzerland. Um, so, uh, the Deacon on Twitter says, Jasmine possibly selling, uh, secure PCs in America. It's a tweet thread here from, uh, Hara, uh, says, <laughs> Brian Riley says, huge support of Jasmine, uh, will be happy when you start selling the blockchain PCs, uh, of ADA for the U S region. Um, Hara replied, thank you for all your support. I would like to discuss this with the team at the, at the West Coast location so that we can make this happen as soon as possible. Uh, so, uh, Brian Riley replies, sounds great. Uh, how is the IVS event going? Hope you post some pictures from Twitter. And that's, that's over in Japan right now that that's happening. Uh, Hara speaks on uh, Friday, I believe. He gives a, a speech on Friday. So that's bullish news that they might be bringing the, um, the laptops, the uh, blockchain PCs to, to the U.S. And I would imagine if it goes into the U.S., it's Canada as well. I, I told you guys like two weeks ago that this, these PCs were going to start going global. Remember? I told you guys, you got to subscribe so that you can stay ahead of the curve on this kind of stuff, right? I got more breaking news in this video for you too. Um... Candlestick Maker says Bitcoin needs to hit a new all-time high. If, if Bitcoin does, the retrace traces down. The jazz uh, the Jasmine price should surge past one dollar as trillions flow from BTC into the Godfather of Data. Now I agree that we're going to have a retracement, but I don't think that Bitcoin's going to hit a new all-time high until well after uh, the having. Um, probably not for like eight or nine months after that. So like I'm talking like. 
the end of next year. Uh, you know, Q4 2024 kind of thing. So that's the timeline I'm looking at. Uh, he doesn't really give a timeline, but if he's just talking about the bear market retracement, that would mean that he's implying uh, sometime this year. And I just don't see that happening. We got more time. We're in the accumulation phase right now. So uh, that's my take on that. Uh, and here's the breaking news. If you like Helium, HNT, if, you, uh, if it's on your watch list, if you hold it, if you're thinking about holding it, Breaking news, Helium is going to be added to Coinbase. So, just like with VeChain, I told you guys the day before, and then it pumped. So I'm telling you guys now, Helium, it's going to pump. So, have a look at it. Not financial advice, but remember what happened with VeChain when I told you. So, breaking news, guys. Subscribe. I'm telling you, subscribe. You got to follow. Uh, we got more breaking news for... Uh, HBAR, HBAR releases chat GBT tutorial on how to how to make plugins and interact with the Hedera network. The possibilities are endless. So go to Hedera, Hedera HBAR's uh, Twitter page. You can find the link there and you can go through the tutorial there to uh, use chat, to utilize chat GBT and HBAR. Um, we got more HBAR news. Hedera is better than blockchain. So the Hedera Hashgraph is better than blockchain. Infinite TPS, secure, low energy usage, uh, more less ener lower energy usage than Visa, and one of one of the assets recognized early to meet the ISO 20022 body, along with uh, Quant, XRP, XLM, Algorand, uh, I think Cardano. So uh, yeah, I'm very bullish on HBAR guys. Uh, buying more on payday, like I said. I need me as much H bar as I can possibly get. I do believe that because the circulate, the total supply and the circulating supply are almost identical to uh, Cardano's. I do believe that what Cardano did in the last bull market went from like five cents to like three dollars. I think that H bar can do the same thing. So keep an eye on H bar. I think it could do a five cent to three dollar uh, jump in this bull market, possibly higher, depending on how much money comes into the asset class. But um, that's just my opinion on H bar. That's why I'm stocking up, guys. Uh, we got more breaking news just in. North Carolina House passes bill directing state treasury to study the process of buying and holding Bitcoin. The bill now goes to Senate. More, see, more, more moves by the American government, guys. More moves by the West to uh, to further push adoption because they're worried. They see what's happening now at East, and they're they're trying to rush everything through now. So. Keep an eye on it, guys. Keep an eye on it. You got to subscribe. We got more breaking news from uh, Whale Charts. It says bankrupt uh, Bitcoin and uh, crypto exchange FTX begins process to relaunch the exchange. Guys, do not use the new FTX 2.0 or whatever the hell they're going to call it. Do not put your money there. People lost billions of dollars because of what they did. Don't get sucked in. If you're new to crypto and you're thinking about using it, they're going to be at marketing and advertising all over the place. Do not get sucked in. Do not, right? Do not give them your money. Only a fool would give their money to someone who's already cost investors billions of dollars. I think it's like $9 billion people lost. So don't do it. Don't do it. Um, and also I had that, uh, I have that poll up on a quick side note, and it says that uh, it says, "Do you keep your crypto on an exchange?" Sixty-three percent of you guys said yes, you do. Thirty-three percent said no, you do not. I personally do not. For the most part, I don't. Uh, I keep mine on Ledger. Um, we got this clown here, Jay Clayton. Uh, he says. Uh, former SEC Jay Clayton describes the new and deeply un-American ethos of the SEC under Gary Gensler. He says, if we're not losing cases, we aren't suing enough businesses. This is a total abuse of power. I couldn't agree more. Like, this guy's a clown. If we're not suing, if we're not losing cases, we're not suing enough people. So they're just on a mission to just sue everyone. This, like... What a bad, horrible way to look at this. This like that is not a good out, not a good perspective to have for taxpayer funded government agencies. If we're not suing everybody, if we're not losing enough cases, 
You're losing these cases. Who's funding these cases that you're losing? American taxpayers. Clown. What a jack. I'm sorry. It gets me worked up. Um, John Deaton says, was it a signal of the bottom? Uh, Coinbase shares are up 35% since the SEC sued the crypto exchange for allegedly suing unregistered securities. So they're actually up 35%. Uh, since being sued. Thanks, Gary. Anyway, guys, that's your news today. Hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. I hope something helped you out. Uh, look into the things that I told you to look into, guys. Uh, like I said, subscribe if you want to stay ahead of the game. I give you guys the breaking news. I give you stuff the day before. And usually, honestly, in all honesty, guys, usually the videos that I make, the, the subjects that I talk about, usually don't go viral on Twitter and don't they don't trend on Twitter till the next day and then the next day I see people pumping out content about the subject I covered it yesterday you guys you subscribe you stay ahead of the game I'm telling you I'm telling you guys so anyway I hope you guys liked it shoot me a subscribe comment down below let me know what you guys are thinking uh, keep it keep your eyes out for a new poll I'll be putting out and uh, shoot me a like let's push the content out there guys and I'll talk to you later